Hello everybody, Secret Code here and today we have Rune Arch, a game that I've been talking about quite a bit, I've been thinking about quite a bit, and it takes one of the aspects I love the most, sorry uh, my cat is on my lap, emergent storytelling, which is what I wanted to say. Rune Arch is a simulation sandbox game where you can create obstacles and cause conflicts all procedurally generated in a fantasy world, inspired by story generator games like RimWorld, War Fortress, weaving both tales and anguish and humor all together. And you're going to see a little bit of that in what I do, because this game is still very early, so they're still like putting everything together. And I know uh, a lot of you guys are probably like, hurry up, get to the gameplay. But I need to talk about a few things. There's multiple play styles. You can experiment by combining destructive spells. You can activate artifacts. All right, so it's a lot to maintain a little kitty cat while you're doing this. Okay, guys, you can afflict villagers with their flaws. So if they have a flaw of being a psychopath or, you know, when they have a, a habit of cheating, you can trigger that and make them just go all in and in that aspect of their life. You can breed monsters, you can spread malicious info, you can brainwash people, you can torture people, all sorts of different things. And a little bit of um, what's on the roadmap, random events, meddlers, legendary artifacts, goblins and other monsters, combat and magic, the world fights back, base building, economy, crafting equipment, landmarks, Wharves and societies, graphic overhaul, localization, mod support. Let's, let's go. Let's just go. You heard enough of me talking. Let's just jump right into a game. And we are going to be in Una, a single desert region with burgeoning human town. A burgeon, burgeoning? Unknown to these residents, the surrounding caves are filled with danger. Lots of danger in these caves. There's a strange artifact of unknown origins somewhere nearby. It's connected to a dozen of various crystals scattered around the plate. Uh, so we're going to go. The little kitty cat is persistent. He wants to be in my lap. This is a preview build. Scenarios still have some missing features that will be added prior to launch. So we're going to see what we get. I'm going to try to explain this game to the best of my ability without uh, going through the tutorial. Creating my world. Oh. Let's see what we get. So you pick a tile. This is your map. This is a desert land. Not much growth going on, but there is a lot of room for meddling. And um, we're just going to pick a spot right here in the middle of uh, the Greenland. And you so bad to me. Mm. Alright, kissing my cat. Yes, I'm gonna build a portal here. Configure my loadout. As you can see, choose your archetype and they fill out the extra slots with the skills of your choice. So you can have all sorts of different ones. I'm going to pick the puppet master, but I will read the rest of you. The puppet master pulls strings from behind the curtains. It lets the world devolve into chaos without lifting a finger, which is what I like doing. I don't like being involved in the people's life. I just like watching and just adding a little speck of a push, a motivation to do things that can cause chaos or things that, you know, I can watch and enjoy in my chair <laughs> as an evil god. And then the lich use the dark necromantic powers to terrify the world and the living. And then the Ravenger, terrorize everyone with your plethora of destructive spells, powerful demons, which I wouldn't even use these two. This is the, this is the game right here. The Puppet Master is the game. It's almost sort of like the storytellers. You're the storyteller in this game. That Rimworld has a storyteller. You're the storyteller in this game. Oh, I didn't pick any spells, but that's, that's all right. Wait, is it all right? Yeah, we're good. We can go with what we had or what we have. And this is our little demonic portal where everything happens. 
villagers are just up here. It's not a very developed town at all. I'm going to look. Bander, a human craftsman. I'm going to look at his info right now. So his faction is the Cumans. Location, Keenan. House. Right here. A nice little house, you know. I'm assuming Devin is his wife. His status is springly. Sprinkly? I don't know. Brimming with stamina and can run. Traits vigilant and inspiring. He doesn't really have a minus trait. And you can see his mood. Everything's half and half. Just turning out, which is normal. So Devin is his wife. They are a beautiful couple. Jamie is the father. I don't know where Jamie is located, but they are not in this region. Uh, Nigel, Spencer, all here. Except for Matthew. Matthew somewhere else, probably adventuring somewhere. I hope in the future we can click the names and we can see what those people are doing in the in the world. And Violet's. And the human knight, well, she does not like Violet. She considers Violet an enemy, which is something we can uh, abuse. Because the goal here is just to eliminate all the villagers. Hopefully there's different types of goals. Maybe I just want to sandbox and watch the world burn. <laughs> but uh, as you can see here, there's the afflict. The lander's negative traits are we can, I mean, we can give him a negative trait so we can make him hot headed and make him cryptomania, psychopathy, unfaithful, unfaithfulness, which is something I'm going to try. And I make him, let's see who his wife hates. Oh, she does not like her, her brother or her mother. There's not that much. She might not be a good option to mess with. Huh. I might look for somebody who's more Marvin. Let's look at his relation. Wife. Does his wife live here, though? His wife is not even in the region. Vera. Hmm. Let's go look at Vera. Vera does not like Nigel. Not married to him either, though. Might be hard to start an affair with. Oh, okay. Spider. Marvin. Oh. Yeah, something here. Rival is Marvin. Quinton. Doesn't have that bad ever. So, maybe. Faithfulness. Then we can trigger it. I'm just going to show you guys right away. Faithfulness. I don't know who she's going to go to. We'll let that play out. We're just going to play step by step. I'll show you each feature. Oh, I'll try to play to see what Vanessa is doing. Oh, Vanessa is exactly going to Marvin, who he hates. Oh, 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 oh. before that happens, I made a mistake here. We're going to want to build. Um, we're going to want to build eyes so we can spy and we can rat out his wife. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> we're going to ruin the relationship. But it's for a cause. A proper cause, okay? Don't think I'm doing this for pleasure. Okay, we're going to build eyes. My cat is trying to spy as well. All right, we got the eyes up. Uh, we gotta let's watch this. Where, where's Marvin? This happens. This will this will cause conflict. That's just gonna pick up some stone while his wife is going to be unfaithful. Uh oh, flirting. And then the flirtation action happens, and in Intel. We click here. Well, we're going to look at Vanessa. We look at relations. 
we're gonna go right to Spencer. Spencer's a good man. He's working right now. And we're gonna do a little bit of evil right now. What do you want? Vanessa flirted with Marvin. Marvin flirted back. Spencer seemed enraged and betrayed at Vanessa. After receiving the new information, uh, information. Uh oh, now Spencer probably boiling inside. So we're gonna give Spencer an affliction. We can make him a psychopath, but we're gonna make him hot headed, and uh, we're gonna trigger that. Uh, he has a trait of being unfaithful as well. Wait, what is that? Vanessa will have an affair if she is already in one. She will make love. Ah, okay. Then, uh, I wonder if I clicked the... I clicked the wrong person. They were so close together. That's okay. Spencer will naturally do something, I'm pretty sure. We're going to trigger that again. She wants more of Marvin. Is she going to go to Marvin again? That's the thing. Lander butchered a reindeer corpse and obtained food. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. That seems quite normal. That's just eating her food. Alright. Got to make her, make her think. Oh, wait, there's a fight going on. Let's see. Gordon is assaulting... Oh, okay. Interesting. A succubus was here, which is random. Succubus was killed. I don't know what a succubus was doing here. They're in... happening. Seven flirted with Lander. They're married, pretty sure. Violet. Come on, Vanessa. Spencer's coming home. Uh, all these guys are sleeping right now. A little bit more devious things we can do, but we're just charging up here. I just love seeing what they're naturally doing. They're they're all up to their own things. And yeah, you can see here we can frame them as well. So let's say... Gordon. Let's see his relation. Gordon does not like Nigel. They don't like each other. What oh, Vanessa? There's stuff going on right now, and just trying to make it happen. I'm trying to be evil. Here. Hmm. I guess she's too. Too tired. Um, okay. Look at this real quick again. Nigel. So, where does Nigel live? Vanessa and Spencer. This is Nigel's. Nigel. Better remember that. So, we're going to heal his guitar. Got that, sees the object. I'm gonna put it right here. Boom. Now, we can, uh, get Gordon on time. Sees the item's owner. Our boy. He's, and we're gonna drop him in the house. He has a reaction right now. 
Villagers are prone to be making suspicious assumptions, especially when they are in bad or critical mood. Gordon just saw his guitar in Nigel's home and has now assumed that it has been stolen. We just framed him. Who knows what he's thinking now? Now, uh, click item owner, click the log tab doing right now click the assumed thief's name this is gonna be interesting we're gonna see something gonna happen to Nigel oh what is this Ariana Lee is going to Gordon He's going to woo Gordon Gordon is having a bad day right now Gordon's probably sleeping though I don't even know who this person is. Oh no, Gordon is wide awake. Uh oh. What's going on here? Ooh. Ariana invited Gordon for some private fun. Oh, she got rejected though. She got rejected pretty hard. Where's she gonna run off to? I'm assuming she's a demon though, with that mark. Demon sleep. Everyone has a life. Everyone's doing something here. This isn't even half the game yet. What these guys are planning to do is super ambitious. So, you know, you start small and you work big. Spencer wants to mine. I mean, a lot of the stuff they can die themselves. Oh, wait. And when this reaches a hundred, this is danger zone. They'll start attacking me. So so far, we're we're at a pretty good uh, low low rate. Oh no! Oh no! Spencer's being chased. Oh, how you gonna how you gonna back away, in Spencer? How you gonna run away in that far? I handle this. Hoping. Oh no, Far's in trouble. I just want to help you. I can't really help you out here. Where is one of our night friends? So you don't die. I don't want you to die. Humans. Docker. Oh, I, I, there's more that I have to show you guys. Human Noble. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, I want to grab you. I need to grab you. Oh, she's gonna die. She's gonna. She needs to retreat. Grab you. Yeah, take you far away. You need to go far away. No, 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 no. No! Oh, I didn't want you to die, Farah. No. Spencer was her friend. Poor, poor, poor Farah. I'm sad about that. I'm actually pretty sad about that. That's not fair. I'm going to get some revenge. But, you know, it's all part of the world. It has to go. I mean, I'm winning by that happening. Right? Sometimes you get a connection with these people. You know, you want to play mischievous and... Wait, wait. Vanessa is assaulting her bed. Why is she assaulting her bed? You know what, Vanessa? You need to assault something. <laughs> She's not... Uh... Very angry. Trying to... Nigel played some tune. That says assaulting stuff. 
Seems that it's not having an effect on her anymore. So what we're gonna try something crazy. We're gonna we're gonna make somebody a psychopath. We're gonna see what that ha what that does. And we haven't even touched demon summoning. We haven't even touched the spells yet. There, there is a lot <laughs> you can see, and we will see. Oh, oh, what the heck? What happened there. Oh, she got rebuffed again. They're there after Gordon for some reason. I don't know why. Is he do something about him or who is he connected to? Married. Patsy's not even in the region right now. What region is she in? Huh. So we'll click the faction and we'll do the overview. Violet, human knight. So Violet is the human emperor. Where are you, Violet? Who are you married to, Violet? Her husband is Allard, who isn't in the region. Would, I guess he'd be king if he was here. Oh no, her daughter died. That's terrible. I wonder if I can, uh... She doesn't even know. Her daughter just got burned to death. Oh, man. That sucks. That's kind of terrible. I mean, you're a human knight. You should be, you should be getting revenge. Let's see, uh, what we can do. Maybe. Uh, I guess, uh, I don't want to make doesn't have no natural flaws. Wait, 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 what's going on here? All right, we got to make sure, uh, there's stuff going on here. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. Uh, what do we do here? Vanessa. Spencer. You gotta tell Spencer. We gotta give this intel to Spencer. What do you want from me? Aranta is restrained. Spencer seemed resentful and angry at Aranta after receiving the new information. Spencer seemed distraught at Vanessa after receiving... Okay, what are you going to do, Spencer? This is devastating news. Why are you crying? Pick up a sword. Stop mining. Ah, oh, he's done. He's going to get toasted. I'm giving you all this information, Spencer. What do you want from me? Aranta knocked out. Spencer seemed enraged and threatened at Aranta after receiving the Okay, are you gonna do something about it? Spencer, oh, there you go. Spencer's going to report. Go, 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 go. Oh, Spencer reported to Aranta. There you go. Do some. Oh, what are you doing, bro? Oh. A villager has been killed by a monster. A tutorial quest has been added to teach you how to figure out what happened. I mean, I know what happened. I saw. <laughs> Mind killers. Yeah, I know what happened. 
Dude, they've been toasting everybody in this village. Nothing going to happen, or the spiders are just they're just feasting on the body here. Oh, Vanessa's dying. She's getting destroyed right now. Things are snacking. Oh. Not much I can do. Hmm. They just doesn't have them much longer. Oh. Wait. Nigel's keeping the faith. Are any of you guys gonna help? Goes Vanessa. We need a hero. It's sad about that. Our villagers are getting taken out. This is uh, Devin's birthday. Pointed in you guys. Violet. Well, are you going to do something about it, Violet? Guess not. Let's fast forward the time a little bit. See if something gets done about it. Going after Nigel now. It's going after the whole family. Oh, Nigel, you better. Uh... Gosh, Nigel's getting taken by an arachnid. What happens. Oh no. All right, you are the emperor. Where are you? Where is she? Where is she? You, your men, your people are being stolen. What do you want from me? That's who knocked out Nigel. Well, it seemed to disapprove and threaten at Esuto after receiving the information. Well, I got a lot of information for you. You can do something about it. You're concerned, you're worried. Oh, there we go. Oh no. I don't know if this is a good... Th Wait. Something's going on. Okay. Oh, she changed her mind? What? Marvin, wait. Not gonna do anything. She was she was about to and then she just stopped. She goes back to bed. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to force the situation here. Okay, I'm gonna have to force the situation here. You're you're going to fight. 
I don't know if she's gonna win the fight. Oh no, she's definitely not gonna win. Yeah. Well, it might have been a fatal mistake, but. She was poisoned. Reading Nigel right next to her. I mean, these spiders do not play. Alright. Can't pick up her body or stuck there. Oh, okay. I'll just stay here. These people need to see a dead body. Recorded now, I know that. I mean, he seems seems happy. I don't know if he's gonna be a good leader. Patsy's not in the region. Marvin had an awkward chat with Gordon. And now let's add an interesting twist. Let's make Marvin a psychopath. Yes. Race. Humans. Gender. Uh, maybe class. Oh, well. Let's just put a gender male so there's more of a wider variety. Oof. I want, I want someone to witness it. Anybody up? No, no one is up. Violet. Where, oh no, Violet is in the cemetery. Wow, there is not a lot of people. <laughs> four people. One, two. Three. Where is the other one? Oh. Wait, who is this? Oh, those are the those are the people that are committing the murder. There's only literally three people. Oh, psychopath on the loose, burying his victims. I want to show you guys real quick what a demon looks like. Put a, a lust team in there, they'll poof away instantly, though. Better for them to be on the base. Just yamming down on that. That food. Yikes. Yeah, there's there's some people here. Oh, is Marvin eating human meat? I think he was eating human meat. Let's, uh, pull that. He's a cannibal now, too. Wow. What is he? The cannibal do. Figure that psychopath urge as well. Going after Gordon. 
let's uh let's see what happens here. oh no i can't i can't pull him for the witnessing I oh, he, he killed him pretty fast as well And you can eat him. Well, he's piling up the bodies. Hmm. I wanted someone to catch the murder. Oh. Possible. Possible. Might be able to do something here. With the intel that we got. What do you want from me? Devin seems threatened and disgusted at Marvin. Devin seems concerned at Gordon after receiving news. Let's see what she does. Yeah, she's moving and burying a body of an Aradalana, however you pronounce that. Just gonna eat some food, just thinking about it. Psychopath, loose. Devin is going to take the food to... Uh, take the food from the Athenian city center. Okay. Easting some food. Uh, Psycho right here. So, figure that. Trigger the psychopath attribute. Oh, no. Hmm. Nothing that can be done. I don't think Devin will risk doing it. She can't report anything. There's like no one alive. Everyone is dead. Disaster. I'll show you guys some spells though. A little bit of a locust here. A little bit of tormenting his life. Ruin his house. But wonder, wonder what that would do. Hmm. Uh oh. Interesting. Wait, what? Devin cowering in terror. Okay. Perfect. Oh, do that. Terrible idea. So much dead bodies. I'm assuming more people are going to like come in, migrate into here and the, the interest value would like just pick up tremendously. Already so much is going on. You, you haven't even seen half of what can go on. There's a little bit of a trap there. Hmm. 
Maybe I'll send him to his doom. That. Marvin is dead. Just one more villager left. But she's thinking. Wanna go back. Not the area to go. She made it through. I'm surprised. Let's see what she does. Terrifying howl to wake her up. Focus is not waking her up. She's, she's deep into sleep. These are bed. Put her bed in the middle of it. I don't know if she'll actually go there. Her bed right here. See if she just goes to bed in that area. She's a very hungry person. He has no one to mingle with. He just passed out, just like sleeping, like done. You know what? You're not allowed to sleep. Get up. Get up. I'm going to torment you, Devin. You better harvest those mushrooms. Uh, obviously, the, the AI needs to improve vastly. Tremendously a lot. Oh, get trapped. Toast. You managed to wipe all the villagers out. Congratulations. And that's one of the first missions that uh, we're supposed to accomplish and obviously go back here you know show you guys uh and got lu two region scenario for undead lovers i'll just show you this real quick if you want to see more of this game the game comes out tomorrow so you will be able to see more of it um again i'll leave all the information below this game is art and prog progress. This game is going to be very good. Trust me, guys. These guys, these devs are awesome. And so easy, easy to talk to. Great, great people. So just plant it right there, which isn't a good place to plant because they're going to figure me out like super quick. Um, find Earthquake. Gowardus. Structure, we'll do a keno for like necromancy and stuff like that. These objects. Start. And see, this is not a really very good location. We're like right in the village. Because we're going to notice everything. But interesting thing is here. Click. And look at the other. Wait. Pretty sure you can. Oh, no, I, I could have swore you, you could look at other villages and stuff like that, but I guess you can't. But yeah, this is a little bit 
more difficult because there's more people to kill. But this game is not going to be only about killing. It's going to be about being masterful and slick with how you use your devious abilities to make things happen. Or sometimes you don't even have to. It just naturally happens. And maybe you'll witness greatness or maybe you'll witness nothing. But you can always make things happen. Rune Arch. Watch out for it. And I'll leave all the information below. If you guys like the video, leave a comment. If you want to learn more, go on your Discord, go on your Steam forums. There's going to be a lot to learn, and their roadmap is fantastic. So go ahead and read their roadmap up on the Steam page. I'm Secret Code. I love you guys. And I am outie.